All right, good morning. What's going on, everybody? We are officially four days out. Four freaking days, guys. So, I uh, got up this morning. Weight's been staying pretty steady. Uh, I just splattered hot sauce everywhere. Um, weight's been staying pretty steady. We have one last day after I sent check-ins. Coach is very happy with the pictures, but we're one last day of depleting. So I know a lot of you have asked for me to show my death day, uh, full day of eating menu. Obviously uh, at this stage, I'm not gonna get another death day because we're gonna start carving up tomorrow. But today's probably as close to the death day menu as I was getting. So I'll just kind of explain the difference as we go through the day. But meal one's pretty much exactly what a death day menu was. We have uh, 125 grams of 99% lean ground turkey, half a bell pepper, and a cup of egg whites. We made into this delicious omelet. And just some hot, hot sauces inside there before I folded it. And then we just get 42 grams of cream of rice and to make it a little bit thicker i throw in a scoop of chocolate fiber which also makes it delicious but makes it thicker a little more filling and keeps me more regular keeps things moving especially when you're, you're this lean you're not getting enough food your body sometimes likes to hold on to everything so that definitely helps keep things uh, moving through as well as staying very hydrated so we're drinking two gallons of water a day right now and we're measuring salt. I'm putting about a gram of salt on every meal. So that's meal one. And uh, yeah, I'm freaking starving. I got up, did 35 minutes on the bike, uh, posing, took pictures, went to the chiropractor, just got some light work done. Uh, just kind of break everything up, loosen things up. Nothing like I would normally go and get, you know, cupping and grasping real hard, but I don't, can't be having any inflammation. I can't be having any like marks, cupping marks on me and stuff like that. So we didn't do any cupping. We did some very light grass in just to break everything up, massage gun, stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna get this meal down and get on with the day. I got a lot of stuff to do. I haven't even started packing. We fly out tomorrow. Gotta go get a haircut, all that fun stuff. So yeah, meal one, about to go down and I'll show you everything as the day goes on and then as the week goes on it is gonna be interesting i'm excited to see what happens the the stacked lineup and uh i'm excited to see how i compare next to these uh next to these big guys all right meal two this one's not fun at all i think even on my actual death day menu in the past I was getting 125 grams of rice with this, but now it's literally just seven ounces of fish, uh, half a cucumber and like five asparagus spears. So I just threw it all in the pan and uh, a little salt, a little bit of a uh, Mrs. Dash Chipotle seasoning, which is delicious by the way. And um, try not to add any sauce at all to this. But if I have to add some hot sauce, I will. The good thing about the cucumbers diced up in there, is it kind of keeps everything from being too dry. You don't really need a lot of sauce. So not the most fun meal, but these are the days that you got to suffer a little bit to earn the, uh, earn the carbs. So I'm going to get this down. Broly just started barking for some reason. Amazon's probably at the door or something. Who knows? But I'm gonna get this down and then go get a haircut. And I still haven't even started packing. It's just uh, been one of those mornings. Mm. It is what it is. Hot. All right. Meal number three. Got the haircut. Now I need to shower and make it look less ridiculous. It always looks weird right after I get a haircut because they're like, do you want product in it? I'm like, no, I'm gonna go home and shower. 
then it just looks like a mess. But anyways, I'm freaking starving. I forgot how brutal these uh, death days were. But anyways, uh, we get a little bit of carbs. So we got seven ounces of 99% lean ground turkey, uh, 150 grams of rice, uh, asparagus and half a bell pepper. So that's meal number three. And uh, it's honestly, it's probably too early to actually be eating meal number three, but I'm freaking starving and I'm gonna try to distract myself for a little while. After this, I packing and editing uh, YouTube videos that I took shot the past couple days trying to keep you guys up to date and on the journey with me the whole way through. So it's uh, it's a lot of work uh, doing it by myself, but really trying to, you know, keep things going and take you through the whole peak week and through the whole competition with me. So hopefully I can get some decent footage while up in Toronto as well, behind the scenes, carving up, uh, all the good stuff and uh, end of the show, obviously. So anyways, I'm going to get this meal down, one more meal before we go work out, and two meals post-workout, but I'm freaking hungry, so I'm going to enjoy this little bit of carbs that I get, and uh, yeah, I got nothing else to say. See you guys at meal four, pre-workout meal. All right, guys, all cleaned up, showered, and even shaved the chest. But uh, time for meal four, pre-workout meal. It's a little earlier than I would typically eat this, but I'm just freaking starving. And honestly, I still have a lot to do, so I want to just go ahead and get my workout done for the day and come home, and I can just focus on getting everything done that we need to get done to fly out tomorrow. So anyways... Pre-workout meal, 150 grams of rice, seven ounces of 99% lean ground turkey. About as simple and basic as it gets. Throw some mustard on there and voila, that's it. So nothing fancy, nothing special, but coach did say that we get to start carving up tomorrow. So what's one day of suffering? I've been pushing myself for you know, 16, 18 weeks, however long we've been going at it now. So get this meal down, go get a shoulder pump. I'm going to be by myself, so I probably won't be able to record the workout, but it's not going to be anything special. It's going to be uh, really just going for the pump, getting some blood moving, uh, you know, nothing heavy, nothing exciting. So uh, shoulder workout. We come home, two more meals, try and get all packed up and ready to go. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna get this meal in and get ready for the gym. All right, finished that shoulder workout, got home. Coach said to take a nice little like 25 minute walk post workout. So that's about perfect. That's about how long it takes to go around the whole neighborhood and he needed it plus we leave tomorrow and he's gonna have to stay at my parents so they'll take him for walks but they nice, spoil him <laughs> nice for us to take him for one more walk before we had out of town oh uh, his friend is at that house <laughs> he wants to play little cry baby but anyways so uh it was one of those workouts i'm so depleted I got a little bit of a pump about like right at the beginning of the workout and then it faded fast because I'm just so depleted and starved right now. But about to get my post-workout meal in, so I'll show you guys that. And uh, then we get one more meal before bed. And I still haven't even started packing, so I've been saying that all day and I still haven't done it. But But now your wife's here. Yeah, so now <laughs> She can just tell me what to wear and pack it. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so we're almost home and uh, I'm starving. All right, 
post-workout meal, nothing special here, guys. We got 125 grams of rice, seven ounces of fish, and some bell peppers. And that is it. A little salt and pepper on there. Might throw some mustard on it or some hot sauce. We'll see. And then also, I'm taking like eight, eight grams of vitamin C a day right now. So I'll take like two grams of vitamin C with like every other meal or so. So get that in. Also glutamine, um, doing like 20 grams of glutamine. So that helps with the digestion and everything like that as well. So that's that basic, simple, small, and I'm starving. So I'm going to get this meal in and then we have one final meal after this and then fingers crossed coach says we're eating tomorrow i hope we're really eating because i am hungry and flat and depleted i don't like using the word flat but when you're flat you're flat and coach even said i was flat and he hates that word so i'm gonna shut up and eat and then finally get around to packing my bags so I'm going to get this done. I'll show you my last meal before bed. And then tomorrow, we're heading to Toronto. All right, final meal of the night. I am ready to pass out <clears throat> and hopefully start carving up tomorrow. So last meal, we got just eight ounces of 99% lean ground turkey, half a cucumber, and like five, six asparagus beers all chopped up in there. No carbs, but we're gonna wake up freaking dry, peeled to the bone, flat as hell, and uh, then start carving up from there. So I'm excited. Also, still doing a scoop of my phytoactive greens, uh, not only for you know, of course, the all the organ support that you get in this, you get your liver support, blood pressure support, cholesterol support, gut health, um, and then all your, you know, phytonutrients from the greens. But really, the gut health is the biggest thing right now. Also, also you know, all the organ support, but gut health is huge. As we uh, go into the show, we want to keep the waist tight, the stomach empty. Um, so you want things flowing through you. So I add the fiber in the morning, have this at night, and uh, also do a scoop of, I haven't actually mentioned this, but a scoop of the uh, Absolute Gut Pro. Um, <clears throat> so that stuff's amazing as well uh, for gut health. So I've mentioned before, AJ Sims, uh, who's my coach now, is very big on gut health, digestion, making sure your body's processing all the food that we're eating. And that's how we get that metabolism revved up so much that we can do those 8,000 calorie days and uh, not be negatively affected by it, actually positively affected. So I'm gonna get this down, pass out, and we're one day closer. So thanks for following along and see you on the next one.